and welcome to this video. I want to show you some of the main benefits of growing mushrooms the low tech way. So in the first video, we looked at large industrial mushroom growing setups, and you'll have seen how energy intensive it is and how much money you need to set it up, but also to run it. And you'll also have seen that because of the sheer scale involved, the mushrooms need to travel a long distance and are often not very fresh when they reach the plate. And in the second video, you've seen a small scale growing setup that we've got. Now, not all small scale growers are set up in this way. Some of them try to mimic what happens on a large industrial scale and they put stuff in place like a, a set of pressure cookers or laminar flow hoods to create a sterile environment. They use even autoclaves and all of this to mimic this large industrial scale setup. It's as a result often quite energy intensive. With low-tech mushroom farming, this setup is a bit different. There's a main difference is the growing methods that will apply and the other one is the way you set up. So it's a lot cheaper and it's simpler to set up. Let's go and have a look. So for example, we don't use an autoclave or a steam sterilizer. We use this water tank. We use it for a cold water lime bar that raises the pH and oyster mushrooms can tolerate this and other living organisms can't makes it much simpler to pasteurize material. Another thing we like to do is use already pasteurized materials like coffee waste, but also sawdust pellets and straw pellets. Because these get compressed, there's a lot of heat that gets generated and that pasteurizes them. So all of these things mean it's easier to grow, but it's also cheaper to get growing. Another example is this room. We use this as a mixing room. It came as a flat packed container and we put it up in about four hours time. All we have in this room is the workbench and this simple to build off the shelf compost tumbler. So instead of an air filtered lab style room, this is a lot easier to build and to start using. Likewise with this fruiting room, it's a hydroponics tent. It's not very expensive, it's off the shelf and really simple to build. Adam and I are no experts in DIY whatsoever. We put it together in an afternoon or so. It's got a few advantages as well. So it's got portholes which makes it really easy to duct air in and humidity in and to duct it out of the tent again. It's also really easy to clean which is essential for a fruiting room. So a tent like this isn't climate controlled, but that's another feature of low-tech mushroom growing. So we try to grow with the seasons. So over here we grow summer strains in the summer, winter strains in the winter. If you're in a particularly hot or cold climate, you might need to choose to grow certain seasons of the year, the seasons that work for you. But it does save a lot of energy input, because otherwise you need to pre-treat the air that goes into a fruiting room, and that's really energy intensive. So there you go, three examples of why low-tech mushroom farming is easier to set up and cheaper to set up. It's also easier to learn the growing process. If you want to find out more about low-tech mushroom farming and if it is for you, please sign up for the workshop. You can do so below this video. Thanks for watching.